Hey you, yes you watching this Bitcoin video, I have a really special one for you today where I'm going to be showing the last Champions live stream where I go through trade of the week. Yes, that is the bank stuffing trade of the week. Basically, I go through my analysis on Bitcoin, go through all of my thoughts and present a trading setup at the end of it. And this is the, this is a lovely example of getting into my brain and just massively ahead of the competition. This is the brain of the best trader in the world right now in the side of the cryptocurrency market. Hold me to that as you see this video. Looking for the higher low to be put in, offer $28,000, taking the $30,000 liquidity, getting an entry trigger on the day, which I did write to my team on the day it was happening. That was obviously yesterday, being the 20th of July, taking the long, Offered a swing failure pattern that we formed intraday. Obviously reminding my team of that trade of the week setup that we had going on. Obviously once again on the 20th of July. Stop loss where? Down below the lows for the invalidation. We had our entry trigger. We had the setup. And hey, there's the, the rest is history. We got the move up. It's only as predicted. Watch the video. Take in some insights. Learn as much as you can. Just just watch this video three, four, five times over. You, you won't regret it. Hope you enjoy. Thank you ever so much. We have a lot of, you know, we can call this resting liquidity. Yeah. So liquidity that's above us and liquidity that's below us. This is now ahead of the technical analysis, I suppose. But my thought process is overall, I suppose I got to think that we're going lower. But I still feel that there's a high potential that you know whether we breach this first and we just remain range bound because leaving all this high liquidity it seems a shame so it would be i mean if this remain range bound and we manage to actually come up and take these highs you, you know that it would happen in a short squeeze fashion really we spent a lot of time at range low lots of shorts opening okay we originally got this sort of squeeze underway i do feel that it's going to be one of these moves below Okay, well, in terms of the pattern that a lot of people are looking at, as we all know now, it's basically this falling wedge. So you kind of have this, ugh, I mean, it can be drawn in many different ways right now, but you kind of just, the, the thing is, I'm not trading this falling wedge, but I know a lot of retail traders will be. And so even though you're not going to, or I'm not going to trade this pattern, you need to be knowing what everybody else is kind of looking at. Because if everybody else is looking at a pattern, you can then try and counter trade that pattern though. And so the most obvious, most obvious in my opinion, counter trade pattern would be, we have to think, what, what's everybody thinking right now? I had kind of done this a little bit early, but I think a lot of people are thinking, hey, long here, Aim for either the higher wedge or to the range high. And I think most people are thinking stop loss below $30,000. Okay. So if, if you got to think to yourself, if a lot of people are thinking, oh, this is a bullish rising wedge, uh, 30K is not going to be broken. You hear a lot of people saying this $30,000 is not going to be broken. Falling bullish, <laughs> falling wedge. Um, so a lot of people are just focused on this with the stops below the low. And this is why one of two things will happen. E.g., I would not take, I would personally would not take this trade off of this idea. I would not take this trade. By the way, this isn't a uh, trade of the week. <laughs> There's two things that are going to happen then. If everybody's got their stops below 30K, remember earlier we were talking about, are we going to hit all these stops and just absolutely get obliterated as everybody gets stopped out? People are entering the sort of breakout longs finally and we, and we actually get a proper breakdown. E.g., all those people that have bought here, stop losses here, all those stop losses equal a massive sell order and we just fall straight down. E.g. anybody buying this falling wedge, you know, loses. Or the other alternative, which in my opinion, I would kind of like, I, I, I think if I got to think of what I would prefer, I would prefer this. And that is that we actually, I would uh, have a bit of a wider sort of view of stop loss on this. But the other viewpoint is that we actually do this. And that is, you know, everybody looking at the rising wedge. Maybe we still got another rotation to the upside. If we did, even more people would be looking at it. And then we actually just do this and break down, grab the liquidity, 
all those stop losses guess what all these people stopped out equals high liquidity for longs and we actually just end up reversing to the range high well i must admit this is my favorite scenario um the more that this is going on the more that i'm liking this you know, I would absolutely love this scenario, to be honest with you. Of course, we could just do a little bit of a weaker bounce here and still, the, the, the theory is the same. E.g. take the lows. You don't really want to lose the overall low, in my opinion. You would want to build a bit of a higher low going on here. But nevertheless, um, you know, always be aware you can swing failure pattern that lower game. But I, I would be care I would be cautious taking in another long of this low. You really want to build the higher low. It gives a much easier trade and eg take everybody out take the stops below 30k and then and then still ultimately being remain range bound no of course if we if if we get this set up and it is given to us we are not going to be just thinking oh here we go forty thousand dollars no you have to get through all of these levels of resistance above us yeah i mean stand out resistance straight away you're obviously going to know is going to be the point of control of the range you're going to then go into the cc's you're going to get all those naked point of controls so there's obviously resistance above us um you know we could just literally take the highs and then and then head back down so it doesn't need to come all the way up to the range high but if you manage to get into a decent long down and around here whether it whether it comes up halfway or the full way you know you, you'd be in you'd be you'd be laughing wouldn't you you'd be very happy I must admit, this is my my favorite scenario. Why would this wreck so many people? It would wreck a lot of people because we would still remain range bound. You know, let me tell you this. The, the best way to shake out traders is to remain range bound. Yeah, because you've got to think during the last, how many days did I say? We, we've been in this range. Come on, let me click. We have been in this range. 60 days and the the more this is going on the more and more people are getting bored the more and more people are getting chopped up and losing trades and the more and more people are leaving the market yeah that, that's what happens when this goes sideways for so long people leave yeah because they're like oh there's no volatility i can't trade and i mean we've given you examples all this week there are definitely trades to be had here but the type of trading environment that we're in right now it is it really truly is who who's left trading this market right now your professional traders your head you know your hedge fund type traders your your you know if this was in the store you know you'd be saying your banks are trading this your algorithm you know algorithmic bots are trading this people that are not trading this are, are retail traders you know that they're, they're waiting for the breakout <laughs> they, they literally will be waiting for the breakout so the longer that this goes sideways the more and more people are getting shaken out of the market. So that's why this could be premature. Even, you know, it's kind of crazy to think, but this could still be a premature breakdown, 60 days. But there's, I would say there's the potential that this goes on for 160 days sort of thing. And everybody is fully bored. I mean, I don't think this is a boring range. I, I think there's trades to be had. There's money to be made. So I, I'd be much, I'd be more, more, more than happy if we were to remain range bound here. Totally honestly with you. Uh, I'd be very, very, very happy to see it remain range bound. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you can obviously ask a question. And I will answer your questions uh, probably in a live stream tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my ideas right now. And I suppose that would be classed then as trade of the week. Again, this is dependent on the run of 30k. In my opinion, it's, it's dependent on the run of 30k. It's just a little bit too early. Can we still get this rotation up to the higher game? And I feel, I obviously feel yes, that we can get that rotation up to the higher game. Uh, e.g. Am I bearish at the range load? No. <laughs> and there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That was the bank stuffing trade of the week. That's what I give every single week to the champions at chartchampions.com.